Yeah. So just use this clip here and it starts recording. So let's make a video, yo. Right back. Okay, so now I guess I'm back. Guess I'm ready. So what we're doing today, we're unboxing today, aren't we? We've got something that I need to unbox today, right? Just came. Sealed. I'm gonna open it with my little cutter here. What it is, I haven't seen it yet, because I haven't opened it yet. Still sealed completely. You know what I mean? Um, came from DHL. That's all you're gonna see. Okay. Um, what it is, right? Is another version of this, basically. I love this. You know what I'm saying? The uh, peanut Mexican Dublin bag. But unfortunately, and this is a common feature or something that happens a lot with these things, with these bags, is that you can get a hole in one and it gets deflated. And it's really annoying me because I really like this particular type of bag. And I actually like the color of this one. I'm thinking maybe if I take it to a bicycle guy, he can fix it for me, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But I still don't want to get rid of this one. It's got A and that, this one here, no matter how much you pump it, and I can pump it. I've got three, three pumps here that we're going to use. Yeah, use. We're going to try, try each and every one out. So in this box, like I said, we've got another version, but it's a different one. I'm guessing that one's a black one because that's the one I ordered, yeah? So uh, we've got three pumps <laughs> that I could use, wherever one fits. But this one here is one that's, you know, it'll probably take a, little, a lot of uh, effort. Like, for example, if, I can pump this one here. It'll take the air. But it'll start leaking almost immediately. You know what I'm saying? I love this one, but man, I gotta get that one fixed anyway. But setting that aside, you know what I'm saying? I might have to change the camera angle. I think that's what we're gonna do right now. So once again, we click. Yeah, so welcome back. Once again, got the clicker. Anyway, so let's, uh, you know what, man? I don't think I'm gonna use this this one because that was a way too much effort. So what I'm gonna do, let me sit down first, man. Oh yeah. Um, one day I, I, I'll talk about the uh, reason why you're seeing so many of these, these balls, but you know, not now. Anyway, move that side for a second. Let's go here. Actually, you move this one out. All right. So, let's unbox, shall we? Let's do this. All right. So, what do we got? Okay. Don't know much about this. How does this work? Okay. Oh, so it's folded up like that, yeah? There you go. Undo it, yeah? Okay. So that's what we got. Okay. Cool. I want to see what this actually this lever. You can smell the lever. It actually smells like proper lever, man. It's from Germany, yeah. It's from Germany. I ordered it from Germany. So let's see what else we got in here. Get that one out. Oh, these are the uh, hooks for it. From ceiling to floor hooks. Okay, let, let me take those out so you can see. Cool. Something heavy in there. What's that? Oh, yeah. These. I have loads of these anyway. I have loads of these, so, you know. But, how do these ones work? 
This is different. I got I got to check the instruction manual for this man. How's this gonna work? Okay. I never seen one like this before. So I got to check the instruction manual, and then I'll see what's up. But I've never ever encountered this type of shit before. With those straps. I don't know how that works. It must be like uh, some real shit. But I suppose. No, I don't know how it works, man. I gotta check it out. I gotta check it out. One second, yo. One second, one second, one second. So the way I see it, right? This one here is gonna be too much problem. So I got this one, worst comes to worst. Actually, this one's kind of small too, so. But I'm gonna use a big one, get more air, and uh, pump. So let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do on this occasion. I'm gonna speed it up, yeah. Else we'll be here forever, <laughs> just in case it takes a long time. So I'm gonna speed this part up, yeah. So there it is. One second, y'all. You might hear a little scratching on there. I just have to put something on this microphone. All right. So, yeah, so there it is, right? Okay. Uh, and then I'll set it up. And then I'll put, I can take it anywhere I want. Um, this, I've got to check this, the manual to see how these, these, these work. I think I've got a fair idea, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? I got a fair idea how they work. Um, yeah, I think it's quite intuitive, basically. You know what I'm saying? And I think that this actually, this is actually quite good because you can. That means you can use it anywhere. So I think I've got a fair idea of how it works. But we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, that's about it. That's a new one. I still love my old one, but uh, you know. It looks like this one, I need to pump this one more actually. But you know, I was a bit wary of pumping it too much because <laughs> cause of, the, cause of the way that one got a hole. I don't know how it got a hole, maybe because I stopped, I stopped the pin in and it burst the, the bladder, I don't know. But, uh, oops, sorry about that. That's about it really. So, thank you guys. Have a good day and uh, let me get this. This is what we use to stop the video. And now I'm outside. Um, I'm going to be working out with this log. I've already got the uh, double M bag out, as, a, as you can see, I put it on top of the log. And I've also got a basketball there somewhere. That log is relatively, um, I couldn't really tell you how much it weighs. It weighs a bit in any case, and it's an alternative to a tire flip. So that's what I'm going to be using. And uh, as you can see, I've already set up the double M bag. I'm going to be using that to work out. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think I figured out how the straps work. I tied them. I mean, it works. It's okay. It's just that you'll see later as I use it that it's going to come loose and that I'm going to have to fix it. So, you know what I mean? It is what it is. But uh, that's the way it's looking right now. I'm fairly, I'm relatively happy with it. I like the color. Um, we're going to work out with it. All right. Let's see what's up. Okay, and we're back. Okay, yeah, so um, I'm gonna probably show you that you can see it's also up there and uh, What I'm also gonna do is dip the camera so you can see how I'm gonna start working out with the log So mess with the camera a little bit Yeah, there you go bring it down a bit That's a log right there, and that's what we're gonna work out with and move the ball out of the way I'm absolutely atrocious with the basketball, but you know, I got my reasons for practicing at this latter date, and I'll probably explain it. So here we go with the log. I'm gonna flip it a few times, and then we go onto the the double M bag. Now, the few fir the first few flips are actually rather difficult because it takes a bit to get used to. You know what I mean? But after that, um, you'll see that. It gets easier but initially I was like uh, struggling a bit 
But that's also got a lot to do with the fact that I didn't want to get injured. I, uh, I was trying hard to be very cautious because I haven't really worked with this type of equipment before. What I find disappointing is that I actually made a video to go with this to show you how I got the log, where I brought it from. I brought it from a fair distance and that in itself was interesting, but for some reason I deleted that video, which is a pain in the ass, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so eventually it gets easier. Now I'm gonna turn the camera up so we can use the, uh, we can use the double end bag, okay? You know what I'm saying? Eventually, but let's do some more flips. I think for the sake of brevity and efficacy, I'm gonna have to speed the video up here so we can get to the double end bag. So uh, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Cause there's a lot of standing around and you know, hesita hesitations. I'm rather hesitant to lift the damn thing up, but. But I am sort of getting into my flow. There's no doubt about it. I'm starting to sort of flow with it a little bit more. I'm less hesitant, I'm less cautious, you know what I mean? I don't feel I'm gonna get injured, I know what to do. And I'm figuring ways out to just flip it in different directions as I see fit. However, you would notice that I'm actually still t staying away from the heavier side. The other side from where I'm lifting is actually the more heavier side. Once in a while I might go there, but you know what I mean? I didn't want to struggle on this video. <laughs> so that's why I didn't really use the other side that much or else I would have just uh, used both sides. So I'll keep on moving over to the other side, which is good because it seems like I'm, you know, walking around the log. Sit down for a little bit before we start um, the next part, which is going to be, of course, the uh, peanut bag. Looking forward to that. Let's get the uh, gloves. That's the gloves. I'm not going to speed this up because it might look a bit ridiculous. So this is the first time I'm gonna use this bag. This is the very first time I'm gonna use this bag. It seems to be functioning properly. However, I'm not too sure or certain about the um, the way I've sort of, the fixture at the bottom basically. I've used a stone, just one stone. I, I need another stone. I didn't wanna use my bag. As you can see, it's come loose. So I had to get another stone to keep it in place. And after that, it was, relative plain sailing you know what I mean it was good I, I, I could tighten it up I think the straps are actually very good actually because you can tighten it up in a in a more sophisticated way than I, than what I'm used to you know what I mean it's uh it, it's sort of like um like a belt but then again it also I don't know it's not what I'm used to but it makes a lot of sense you know it, it, it was made by the Germans so it was bound to make, make sense anyway so once I saw it I thought okay the Germans this is German technology again I kind of know it's going to make sense I just have to figure it out intuitively and that's exactly what I've done and as much as the bag is concerned it's, it's a good bag I, I like it I really like it you know what I'm saying uh, and these straps make a great deal of sense too you know what I'm saying they're very rigid they're not singular so uh, there you go you know uh, I'm not great on this peanut bag, but I love it. It's one of my favorite bags ever. I think aesthetically, they just look fantastic. And, the, you know, it's one of those things that comes out of Mexico. It's called, comes out of Mexico. It's actually called a Mexican Dublin bag, really. It's called a peanut bag. It's called a Mexican Dublin bag. So if you want this one specifically, if you type in Mexican Dublin bag, this is more or less what you're going to find. You might find something different nevertheless, but for the most part, this is what I found out was called a Mexican Dublin bag. And ever since then, I've sort of been, uh, uh, I've been trying to get some. They're very expensive sometimes. This one wasn't too expensive. Um, I'm not going to tell you the price, you can go find yourself, you know what I'm saying? But I saw one from Everlast recently and it cost about, it cost about, uh, three, oh, let's say about $400, three, four to, three to four, $400 I think, exchange rate wise. I'm not going to pay that for, for, for a Mexican bag, that's ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Not to talk of shipping, you know, all right. So a little bit more log flipping, which I'm going to speed up for your, you know what I mean? Because I don't want to bore you with that. And then we close out the video. Thank you very much for watching this. It's been great as usual. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some information you can use. It is what it is. And goodbye.
My ego was saying, keep going, man. But I'm absolutely knackered. I'm just going to sit down after a few punches on the Dublin bag again, and that's about it. See you guys later, y'all. Have a good day, and goodbye.